Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. In today's video, we're going to be playing with the brand new Clé de Peau lipsticks. I picked up all three formulas and we're going to be swatching them and applying them on the lips. So if you're curious to see which shades I picked up and how I created this full face of Clé de Peau, keep watching. I recently picked up four of the brand new Clé de Peau lipsticks. Clé de Peau came out with three different types of lipsticks and I picked up four different ones. So I picked up one from each different type. They came out with the Cream Rouge Matte and so I did pick up one of the shades. This is the Cream Rouge Sparkles. These look gorgeous and I did pick up one of those and then I picked up two of the Cream Rouge Satins. So I have a total of four new lipsticks to try. I'm gonna swatch them all and we're gonna try them all on the lips today. I also, in my recent hauls, picked up a Clay de Peau loose powder. So I thought we would just do a very quick full face of Clay de Peau using some of these new products. Now Clay de Peau also released a new cushion foundation. I did not pick that up. I have heard from some of my subscribers who did pick it up that it is beautiful. So I will be getting that the next time that there's a sale. I'm really, really eager to try it. So I thought what I'd do is I would go ahead and start with my primer, my foundation, my concealer, and I'm gonna just speed through that. I will show you what I'm going to be using. For primer, I'll be using the Correcting Cream Veil. And for foundation, I'm using the Radiant Cream Foundation. And then for concealer, I have their concealer stick. All three of these products, I really, really like. Highly recommend all of them. So I'm just going to put that on my face and I'll just speed through the clip because I have done videos on all of these. And I really want this video to be about the new products. <music> start with the new to me clay de peau loose powder this is the translucent loose powder and i have shade light medium it says this is the ultimate set and perfect luxurious face powder inspired by the radiance of a diamond provides an unparalleled luminous finish once applied ensures extended makeup wear and flawless skin tone harmony a hybrid of makeup and skincare infused with light empowering enhancer amplifies your radiant finish contains light empowering treatment powder which improves radiance and maintains skinned condition it does have a 24 month shelf life and it is made in japan i have never tried this um but i have heard really really good things about their loose powder there is the packaging it is stunning so you twist it off you do get a puff the puff is really soft and then it does come covered and then you remove it and there's a little bit of powder on top and then I can see which you probably won't be able to see but there is like a little cloth or something down to separate the powder take my Lumiere powder brush and that's how much I picked up and you can kind of see just how finely milled it is a slight fragrance it's nothing that's too overpowering though I think it went down really really nicely it didn't disturb any of the cream products that I have underneath it um, so I'm really really happy with that and I did not need a lot so far I'm impressed and what I do like is that this lid you just pop it back on to kind of keep it clean the Sicily loose powder is my absolute favorite but it is a mess and I like that this has a little lid to protect it so I do really like that all right so so far I'm really really liking that loose powder I will continue to use it but so far first impression really really like it we're gonna go in with bronzer I'll just do that real quick again I'm using my clay de peau bronzer this is shade number one this is an absolute beautiful beautiful bronzer my only problem with it is they have two shades they have two just two one and two so it's not very inclusive next i'm going to use my clay de peau cream blush and this is shade number two i just take my bk beauty brush and just stick it right down in there pick up a little bit of the product and apply it this is a beautiful beautiful blush their cream blushes are absolutely some of the best 
I'm going to top it with our powder blush. This is shade 101. I just mix the two shades together and then lightly apply it. These blushes are beautiful as well. Honestly, there's not much by Clay de Peau that I don't just love. Um, I think it's really a phenomenal, phenomenal brand. And they really do make beautiful, beautiful products. I'm going to go in with their Luminous Powder. This is shade number 202. And that's what it looks like. I don't think that I've actually used this highlighter on my channel. Um, so we're going to give it a shot. That is the pickup. You do get a lot. The other day, I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw um, some sort of post. Um, or I saw someone like re reshare it because um, I didn't actually see the original one. But it was from Martha Stewart. And she was giving like a close up view of her face and um, no filter, no lasers, no treatments, no Botox, like all that stuff. I use this clay to post skincare. And I don't know that I believe that she hasn't had any work done, but I will attest to the clay to post skincare. It is absolutely one of my top brands for skincare. It is really, really, really good. There's the highlighter. I think it paired perfectly with the blushes. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Clay de Peau Quad. I believe this is called Satin Moon. It's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna start, they have this taupe shade. So we're gonna take that in the crease. I'm using a Rosen Ben, what is this, an E, E29. It's just a really nice fluffy blending brush. I mean, how easy was that? It's very, very quick. I'm gonna take a Sony G Mini Booster. I'll go into this brown and we're gonna place that in the outer corner and I am eventually gonna to top this outer corner with that black, but we're gonna layer. So we'll start with the brown. Same brush, now I'm going in with that darkest shade, which is the black. I have a Sonia G Worker Pro and I'm gonna go into this Natasha Denona palette just so this I can have this shimmer shade there's no shimmer in the clay de peau quad and I do I do like a shimmer in my inner corner so I oftentimes use this little quad or this little baby Biba palette to supplement any of my eyeshadow quads that don't have a shimmer I think it's just a perfect this little shade right here it's called Monroe it's a perfect perfect shimmer shade and if Natasha Denona ever sold them as singles I would definitely buy one I'm taking that same fluffy blending brush to just blend the crease here's the finished eye look before mascara and eyeliner I think it's beautiful very very everyday friendly eyeshadow quad I am going to line my eyes I don't have a clay to pull eyeliner so I'm going to go ahead and use Sicily but I do have a Clay de Peau mascara, so I will put that on. And then when I be back, we're going to play with these new lipsticks, and I cannot wait. The eye look is complete, and now we're ready to open up these lipsticks. I honestly cannot tell you how excited I am. So we're going to start here with this Cream Rouge Shine, and I have shade Erica Ginger. Now I will say I think I got pretty much all nude neutral shades, although this looks a little pink. I have shade Chocolate Cosmos in the cream rouge matte shade so you can see that the packaging is a little bit different the matte shade has a matte packaging another cream rouge shine this is pretty light I'm most excited for is this cream rouge sparkles and i got shade 304 i can't pronounce it you guys i can't but i think it's a light pink wow Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we're gonna swatch this first. I was not expecting this. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to put that on my lips. And then we'll swatch the two shines. This is the lightest one, the shade 201. 
Oh, that's pretty. This is shade 204. Oh yeah, that's like red. Not sure why I got that one. And then this one is the one I'm actually really excited for. This is 111 and this is the matte. I thought that that color was really pretty. So we have the sparkles, the shine, and then the matte. So I'm going to start with this matte. I'm not going to put any lip liner or anything on. I'm just going to put it on and see how it looks. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel drying at all. I do think it'll look better with a lip liner. The applicator is a little bit flimsy. It's a little large. So I kind of feel like it kind of took a little bit of getting used to to apply it. So again, this is shade 111 and this is Chocolate Cosmos. So now I'm going to take the Cream Rouge Shine, and this is in shade 201. Again, I think it'll look better with a lip liner. It feels really, really good. It is not drying at all. It is hydrating. It doesn't feel like it would be real sticky. And same problem that I had with the applicator and that it's just so big, it feels a little flimsy. So again, this was shade 201. Now we'll go in with shade 204. Let's see if I can pull off this red. four it's beautiful it is a beautiful beautiful red and again it feels really really nice it was a little difficult applying especially with the red because you want to be real careful where to keep the red within the lines it'll be better when I apply a lip liner but I am really impressed very very pretty all right so now I'm going to take this off and then we're going to try this very last one the sparkles and this last one is shade 304. All right, so here is the very last one. This is the Cream Rouge Sparkles. What do you guys think? It is my favorite. Of all of them, just the application of it and the ease, it was definitely my favorite. I would definitely pick up more of this formula. I really, really like it. <laughs> um, I love the shift in this. I think it's beautiful. I think this would look beautiful t as a topper on top of something else. I will definitely be reaching for this one the most. The others are beautiful. I really, really liked them. I don't know that I would reach for them as much as I would a lipstick. I find applying a lipstick to be much easier. Um, and again, it could just be that I'm not used to a liquid lipstick, so I had a little bit more difficulty. But I think just out of ease, I would reach for a regular lipstick over these. That's not to say that these aren't good. They were very, very beautiful. They felt really nice on the lips. I obviously haven't worn them before, so I don't know how long they would last. But, you know, just on first application, I think it's easier to apply a tube lipstick versus a liquid lipstick. I will say though that the formula of this last one, the sparkles, is very, very nice. It is completely different than the others. It just feels, it just feels the best. I really, really like it. And there's no like glitter or anything in the lips or in the, the product itself. 
it's just really really pretty i'm really really impressed that is my full face of clay de poe i got to use this new powder which so far i am absolutely loving loving and i got to play with all of the new lipsticks which i was really really excited for i could not wait for them to arrive and film this video for you guys i will definitely continue to use them i will wear them throughout the week see how they last let me know down below if you guys picked any of these up were you waiting for swatches and like i said with this new drop they also had a foundation i will be picking that up once they do have their next sale i want to thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and i will see you in my next video